we don't really talk a lot about where our products are made. Uh, we, we have products made all over the world. Um, and we are expanding our spring manufacturing uh, into another country as well. Um, in, in the pursuit of higher quality, better tolerances, not necessarily to save money. It's not cheaper. Um, but, um, but yeah, I, it's not, you know, the majority of our products are made in the U S we have products manufactured in Europe and the far East. We choose manufacturing companies and suppliers to meet our stringent and high, you know, quality uh, standards and specifications. So for us, it doesn't really matter where something is made as much as how it's made and the resultant, you know, quality and adherence to our specifications and standards. I think sometimes people like to attribute quality to where something is made. And this is, this is a whole nother topic, but I would say there's very little correlation to where something is made <clears throat> and the quality of it is. Maybe in specific instances, you could say that, you know, uh, computer processors, you know, made in Vietnam aren't as good as ones made in, you know, Silicon Valley. Right. Um, but just in general, especially with something like automotive products, um, there's a lot of shitty stuff made in the U.S. I hate, I hate to say it. Okay. Um, and we, we strive hard to use us suppliers as much and as often as we can. However, um, in many cases we're not able to, because either the, the prices are just astronomically too high or the quality just isn't there. Um, and it's shocking, but, um, and, and the, the bottom line is if you're good at making, if you're good at manufacturing in the U S you're going to be making for the medical industry, for aerospace, for the U S military. Those are the pretty much the three areas and maybe for high tech, you know, if, if it's applicable. Um, but you know, you can make, you know, you can, do we have any parts? <laughs> like I have, I have a little, I should say this is, this is a, a little metal part and you could make this for zero three, four motorsport. Uh, for three dollars, or you can make it for uh, the Department of Defense for seven hundred dollars, or you can make it for Google for five thousand dollars. The same thing that we would pay three dollars for, basically. So it just doesn't make sense to sell to automotive aftermarket if you can do aerospace or medical industry, and the the cost of things in Aerospace, medical industry, Department of Defense, it's orders of magnitude higher than what you could charge for a consumer product. So that's why most U.S. manufacturing gravitates towards those industries and high tech. I remember a quick little story. <clears throat> we used to do all of our CNC manufacturing here at this facility, but we, we could no longer produce enough product here um, to even meet 5% of our sales. So we've, we've outsourced a lot of our machining. And, um, but one of our customers worked at Google and he was like, oh yeah, we're, we're shipping some server, uh, thing on this huge pallet. And we have these brackets drawn up to hold every, you know, hold it down. And, um, we lost like two of them, you know, can you just, can you make us two? And they're just these big bill of aluminum brackets. They're very simple parts. They're like triangular shaped with gussets and holes, you know, for fasteners. And. Um, and so I was like, yeah, sure. Send us the drawing, you know, we'll, we'll quote it out. Um, uh, and so he sends me the drawing and, and I was going to quote them like 200 bucks each, right? Cause it was a piece of billet aluminum that was going to cost us like 10 bucks, a couple hours on the machine. And I figured like 600 bucks for both of them. That's, that's plenty. But, but I called him and I was like, Hey, just, just real quick. What have you been paying for these things? And he was like, Oh, like $2,000 each. <laughs> I was just like. Good news, we can do a thousand each <laughs> for a stupid bracket that at zero three four motorsport we wouldn't be able to sell for more than about one hundred and fifty bucks. Uh, we had products that were way more complicated, advanced, and bigger than that that we were selling for about one hundred and fifty bucks. So you know, and 
we bailed them out. We saved them two thousand um, dollars, but that's just a, a little a little story. You know, there was some machine shop here in Silicon Valley. You know, making them two thousand bucks each for like hundreds of them. You know, and we made two for for less than that. So, and we we when we made a killing. You know, so that's just uh, that's just the state of affairs. Sorry for the little tangent on the U.S. You know, U.S. manufacturing, but. A lot of misconceptions out there about manufacturing and where things are made and stuff like that. 